Rosita. So I was watching your latest video about your grab bag, how to send an invoice. Okay, so first thing you do is log into your PayPal. And once you log in, you go right here to send and request. And then it gives you these options. And you go right here to create and manage invoices. And then it gives you these two options and you could create an invoice right here click on that okay so um, right here if you want to add a picture or a logo you can you don't have to and under this is my information so I'm not gonna go down because under it is my personal information but if you want to edit your address your name phone and email it gives you the option to edit this button up here all the way to the top okay let me just go right there so you can see it gives you that option right there okay and then to your right it shows invoice information you don't need to um, do anything with the invoice number and then the invoice date that you want to send it, you could change it by, oh no, you can't, yeah, you could change it. Just click it right here. And then the payment terms are due on the receipt. You don't need to change that either. You leave this alone and invoice number alone. The due date, you could choose the date that you want this invoice to be due. You could choose the due date that you want the invoice to be due, okay? And then you scroll down and right here where it says send to you put single customer and then you put the person's email address so let's say I'm gonna send it to I'm just gonna create an email address there okay So I'm going to send it to this email address and it's optional if you want to add that person to your address book, like add their names and other stuff. You don't have to do that right now. So you put the email address and then you put the item name and since you're doing grab bag, you can write grab bag. And then under the description, you can write like what's in the grab bag mixes. You don't have to write this. This is just optional if you want. So for mixes and your art. And then right here, you put how many um, they're buying. If they're buying one, then you put the unit price for that one. Let's say it's $10. And then right here, you have the option if you want to charge tags or um, tax or not. And then right here shows the amount right here in the unit price one equals ten if you put two then it will show you twenty dollars meaning that just one cost ten dollars but there's two grab bags okay so yeah let's put it back to one and then right here for term terms and conditions that's just on you if you want to write anything to the to the person that is buying it like what are your terms and conditions for purchasing this grab bag note to recipient you can write a little note to the buyer you can write like a little thank you note and then right here it that's if you're giving them a discount like say 10% discount but that's on you you don't need to fill that in if you don't have nothing shipping and handling that's if you're charging shipping too if it's not included in the grab bag you can write it of course sorry that was too much and then here's the tax on shipping if you want to add tax on shipping but mostly we just write the unit price and shipping if it's not included in the grab bag and then it shows your total down there and then right here is a memo this just is a memo for you to remind yourself and the recipient won't see it and of course you could preview it before you send it so here's preview 
and this is how the invoice will show right here to the left is my personal information so i'm not going to scroll there because it's going to show my address and everything so this is how the invoice will look here's the invoice date number payment terms due date bill two it will show the person's email the description is a grab bag a thank you note quantity one unit price 10 and subtotal 10 total 10 dollars usd then you click back to edit if you need to edit anything or you could easily just click send and once you click send the invoice has been sent to them and it will show the invoice date that you created the due date the buyer's email address the status if they paid it or not right now it's set um it says unpaid because you just sent it invoice number and then the action right here and then the amount right here if more than time has passed you could remind them as in to pay and stuff right here you could easily click invoice if you made a mistake or wrote the email address wrong you just click cancel and then it tells you cancel this invoice we will only cancel invoices if the invoice is sent but unpaid okay then you click send cancellation to recipient and then the subject is the invoice was canceled then you click send cancellation and there your invoice was canceled in case you made a mistake and that's about it so that's how you create an invoice Rosita I hope you got it if you didn't you could just send me an email address and I will be glad to help you okay I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.